Hey guys, Nexi here, back with another video. Today we got a new 3D printer to review. Let's check it out. We have a user manual. I will show you here every page, so if you're interested, you can always pause the video and read it. It looks pretty decent. Next we have a visit card, rubber feet, AC cord, USB cable, tools, and SD card. There is a lot of protective foam around this printer as it's around 6 kg heavy. Here we have some more foam pieces and you need to cut this plastic foil as well. First I installed the knob. Then I installed the 4 rubber feet which takes few minutes. I plug in AC cord, remove plastic foil from LCD, turn on the printer and that was pretty much it. And here it is, TiVo Michelangelo, small and compact full metal 3D printer. And now some specs. Michelangelo frame is made from V-rail aluminum extrusions, like on Tornado. Build volume is 150 mm in all axes. It comes without a heated bed. It has Bowden style Titan extruder, dual cooling fans for the filament. It has inductive sensor and stops instead of mechanical micro switches. On the front there is a graphic LCD, SD card socket and rotation knob. On the left side there is a type A USB plug and air intake grill. On the right side there is an air exhaust cooling fan. And on the back there is an AC plug with a fuse and a switch. Just like the CR10, Ender and TiVo Tornado, this printer also uses V-slot rolling bearings for all movements and they are adjustable so they will last a long time. Motherboard is MKS GEN version 1.0 with the upgraded drivers, so you can swap different drivers in the future if you want it. Now a quick look to the software. I will show you all options available in this firmware. You can change temperature, velocity, acceleration, travel, jerk, steps and so on. The screen is bright and clear and the rotation knob is nice and precise. On the other hand, beeper is very loud so you might want to cover it with a piece of tape. For leveling the build plate, there is a system in a firmware, which moves the nozzle in every corner. But on the front left corner, you can't really adjust the knob, as it's very close to pulleys. So I just disable the steppers, move out the build plate, and adjust the knob. Also I wanna say that there is no spool holder supply with the most of the TiVo 3D printers, which is a bummer, so I use a spool holder from another 3D printer. You can also print one as well. Now it's time for the first test print. On SD card was the test G-code, so let's print this first. Well, this looks promising. I'm really happy to see that the TiVo finally managed to get rid of Simon skin that other TiVo printers have. For slicing software, you're supposed to use repeated host, but this printer also supports Simplify 3D or the Cura. I happen to like Cura very much, as it's free and very advanced slicing software, so I'm gonna show you how to set up this printer in the latest version of Cura. First, you wanna navigate to the settings, then printer, then add new printer, then choose other and navigate to the TiVo Tarantula and rename it to TiVo Michelangelo and then click on the add printer. Then you're gonna go again to the settings, printer, manage printers and then click on the machine settings and here change from 200 to 150 in all X, I and Z axis and make sure that the heated bed is not checked. Then go to the extruder and make sure that the nozzle is 0.4 mm. They can both share the same start and end G codes, so just close it, activate and close again and you have pretty much set up your TiVo Michelangelo. My second print will be the 3D Benji in 0.2 and 0.1 mm layer height. I'm gonna use here the standard settings and I'm gonna add the Brin option as well, cause this printer doesn't have the heated bed. When you're done with the slicing, just save your G-codes to SD card and then plug to your printer. I did not use any adhesive spray here or the glue since I used the 8mm brim option, but I was wrong. My ship was loose from the build plate and started to drift around until it threatened under the X carriage in a corner. So the build tech on a Michelangelo is not that good. Lesson learned, you gotta use the glue. After that, no issues whatsoever. I print two Benji, 
one 0.2, another 0.1 millimeter. And their boat came up pretty much perfect. Thanks to the heavy stable frame, Titan extruder, new drivers and the two fan on the X carriage, print quality is really awesome. Then I decided to print the vase using the vase mode in Acura, which print the whole object in one layer and again the print quality was perfect without any print artifact. Beautiful ways. Then I changed the red to the blue PLA and I print the snail and this interesting pyramid. Results? Great. The snail is designed to hold the paper notes and the pyramid is designed to print without any supports, retractions, bridging and it can even be printed in a vase mode, just like the red vase. Amazing 3D model and the print results. Then I decided to print this rocket again in a vase mode and I scale it to the maximum height which is 150 mm. Results was good but I should lower the cooling fans as we have some temperature difference on a surface and that's why I decided to run a few benchmarks tests to see how this printer will perform. Benchmarks include tests like stringing test, Z wobble test, overhangs test, dimension accuracy test and the bridging test. In all of them Michelangelo did a great job even with this cheapest PLA filament that I have. So my next print is a bit of detailed and I left the printer over the night. This model required to be printed with the supports and they were very easy to remove. Results, again, was pretty much perfect. This yellow beard looking model looks awesome with all of these details present. Nice. Then I throw some yellow gold PLA filament to test it and again I print the vase. This time it was the six angle vase in 0.25 mm layer height. I just wanna test it now and see how it will look since I lowered the temperature to 195 degrees and I set cooling fans to 50% instead of 100. Results was pretty nice and it was much better than the blue rocket. Now it's time for the last vase print and this time I found this curved honeycomb vase. I left it to print over the night but in the morning I found that the filament was strained and I had a few layers under extruded close to the top of the waist. What a waste of such a good print and the filament as well. What should we do? Instead that I print the new ways, I decided to try to fix this one. First, I honed the Z axis and I found on which height was the last good layer. After that, I opened the G code using Notepad Plus and I delete all G codes from first layer to this Z layer on the 129 mm. Then I insert the SD card with modified G codes and I lower the speed to 20% as I need to be sure that I hit the right layer. So I weigh the nozzle slowly moving to the new layer and it was success. Then I slowly increase the speed to 100%. Here are the results of the recovered honeycomb ways. It's printed great and the color of this PLA is very nice. Michelangelo print this model great except on the cured place where we have some slightly over extrusion since I should go with the next Z layer. Well, next time. Now before that I test PTG ABS and TPU filament, I came across this awesome collection of easter eggs. I choose two of them and I printed with a gold yellow PLA. Results, beautiful prints and awesome design 3D models. I love it. Then I throw some cheap blue transparent PTG and I print astronaut fill and the Christmas tree with a 0% infill and the two parameters on the wall. Cooling fans was on 70%. Results was pretty good. So I throw some cheap ABS and I print them again using the same print settings just with the fan turn it off. Since ABS doesn't like to be printed with a fan on. Once again I got nice results and printing with ABS was no problem on this printer and I had no layer separation or any issues. Now since this 3D printer has a Titan extruder which is not only a high torque and precise but it also supports fleximan filament as well so I print this Christmas tree and the 3D Benji. Christmas tree is printed with 0% infill and the 3D Benji is printed with 20% infill. Their boat came out great from the first try and I didn't have any issues printing with flexible filament on this printer. 
So to conclude, on my opinion, Tivo Michelangelo is one of the best mini 3D printers that you can get at this price range. I did not expect to be this good as the price point is under $200 and it comes almost completely pre-assembled. Cons are that it lacks the heated bed and the spool holder, but on the other hand it comes almost completely pre-assembled, it's a well built, it has a rock solid frame, great print quality, it's fast and it has a good components. To my opinion, at this price range, Tio Michelangelo is a very good choice and I can definitely recommend it. Thanks for the watching and I see you next time. Bye.